We're harvesting our ponds down, trying to find two turtles with unknown haplotypes. These turtles have all been tagged with pit tags. Blood work has been done, genetics have been done on them. So basically what we're doing right now is we're trying to find the two with the unknown haplotype. So we've drawn down the ponds, we're collecting the turtles, and we're using a scanner to scan for those pit tags to see where those numbers are, those identification numbers are for those two turtles we're trying to find. This is one of the turtles that has an unknown genetic composition, so we're going to take it out of the spawning population so it doesn't breed with the other known genetics. All of the turtles that we have here, we uh, received through a law enforcement case. So we were developing this program and we got a call from some of our law enforcement division and they were looking for a place for some turtles. So it was excellent timing. This big guy is the one headed to the courtroom. You won't have to deal with him in the wild, at least for a while. And by the way, if you're out there in the swamps, be careful, these things can hurt you. They take my arm off, no problem. I know that. And it's amazing how fast they are. If you don't hold them in a the right place on their shell, it, they're unforgiving. They'll take your arm off, your hand off pretty quick. Even the small turtles, they, they latch onto you and they don't want to let go and they have a very sharp beak. I don't know if you've looked at their, their anatomy there, but their, that beak will latch on and it won't let go. So I'm grabbing the shell near the tail and right behind the head. So that way it cannot turn its head to get me. If you grab it on the sides, see how it's flicking around? If I had my hand on the sides, that turtle could have got my hand. I think a lot of people, their first response is to grab on the sides because it's easier to hold that way, but this way the turtle cannot get me. What we're trying to do here is we're trying to raise them in captive environment and reproduce them. We let the turtles spawn on their own and then we'll release their babies. We'll collect their eggs, hatch them out, and then we'll release the young after a couple years of rearing them. They're not endangered, but they're threatened. And that's because regulations stand now where in Louisiana, each person, individual, can take one alligator snapping turtle per day. So it's a pretty high harvest rate for something that some of these big guys have lived over 100 years already. Uh, it's probably one of the biggest number of questions we get when people visit the hatchery asking about the snapping turtles. We have some on display in our aquarium and people just love them. They're a really unique creature. They live for a long time. You know, it, it, it takes them about 15 years approximately before they can even get old enough to breed. So they're they're very interesting critter. I think it's that wow factor, you know, people don't realize how big and how old these turtles get.